Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to extend my airflow playlist. So in my last video, you can see that we have already discussed how to install Apache Airflow in your Windows machine using Docker. And thank you very much for uh, all this exciting comment. Now today, what I will uh, I will try to do here is I will uh, try to try to connect Postgre from the Airflow DAC and will create table inside that and we'll insert some uh, value there okay if you have already installed apache airflow in windows using docker then you have you have already done this all the setup what does it means is uh, airflow internally using postgre as a metadata database so if i'll open my docker compose yml file okay here you can see we are already using this postgre and this postgre is useful for storing all the metadata means what is what is the dag number all the metadata it will store so this is required postgre is required in order to install the airflow okay so we already have the postgre so we will use the same postgre okay we will use the same database same database and we will we'll create one dag in that dag we will connect to this postgre and we will create the table from the uh, dag from the airflow DAG and we'll insert some data there. Okay, so this is the this in this video we are going to learn to how to create DAG and and how to connect uh, to the PostgreSQL uh, database using PostgreSQL operator. Okay, and how to in, means basically how to interact with the database using uh, Airflow. If you have some database you want to insert some data there or you can create some table there. Then how you can do it using Apache Airflow DAG. Okay, so we already have Postgre installed. Okay, we already have Postgre installed. We have done it using Docker. So now, in order to connect this, because this is this Postgre is there in your uh, Docker image, Docker container inside the Docker container, it is there. Postgre is installed. So, in order to in order to use it from your local machine or outside the Docker, you need to expose the port. So this is the command to expose the port. Okay, we to ex expose the port of uh, uh, Postgre. So you just need to write this two line. Okay, once you once you write this two line, then you need to restart or rebuild your uh, Postgre service. So to rebuild, there is command called Docker Compose app minus D and no dependency and build Postgre. So you need to run this command. So I will give you all this step. So I have given already how to connect to Docker uh, Postgre. Expose Postgre port using below change in YML file. You already have the YML file and you just expose the port. Okay, and then you run this command in your uh, terminal. Once you have run this command, then you need to open your, your uh, connector. If you are might be using uh, this dweaver, then open this dweaver and you try to connect. Try to connect to the Postgre. So here open this one and click on click on Postgre next. This is your local host because we already exposed exposed my uh, Docker Postgre. So this is now it become local host. And what is the database that you have defined? We can see here in your uh, compose file, Docker compose file. So my database is Airflow. Username is also the Airflow. Okay, and password is also Airflow. So you can provide this whatever information is given here. You provide here. So I'm, I will give here airflow okay and this is also airflow and password will be also airflow and test whether it is working or not see this is working now okay so where is my database database there in docker how we are connecting it we are connecting it from my local system in db were client okay so but docker Inside Docker, how it will interact? We have to enable the port. We have to export the port. How to in, to export export the port by by writing this two line. Okay. After writing this line, you have to rebuild the Docker Im image or Postgre service. I already told you how to do this one. Okay. Once you do this one, just uh, connect it. You can just give the name. Write it here, and you can give the connection name as uh, Airflow Docker. Airflow Docker local. Okay, whatever you name you give, you can give. Okay, and then save it. Finish. So you can see 
you are having one uh, instance here so now if you see here you are having you are connected to database airflow so right now in the airflow database there is public schema okay this public schema in the public public schema there is some table already this this all the table is already there because we we i already told you in in the database airflow using postgre as database to store the metadata information so what and all tag is there what and all uh, dag run is there all this information it will it will keep okay so you can see this is the this is where uh, your all the information about the dag is maintained in the uh, database postgre database okay so now what what we will do is we will create one uh, uh, we'll create now we'll create connection okay we'll because we'll create connection from airflow so you can go to admin here this is your airflow go to admin admin connection you can click here plus sign and then you write here what and all connection id you need if you want to write connection id as post gray post gray underscore local okay so this is will be the connection id that will be used in your dag and from here if you select you will get that postgre here and if you want you can uh, give the description whatever you want and then host id schema login and password all those things you have to give okay okay so the host id you have to write host dot docker dot internal okay and schema you can give whatever you want okay schema let's suppose that uh, uh, I want to give the schema name as Airflow. Airflow, and this is your which schema you want to do log in there. So that is the Airflow schema I have given there, and this is the uh, username is already Airflow and password is also Airflow, and now port is five four three two. Okay, now test it. Click on test. You can see the connection is tested. Connection successfully tested. So now you have already successfully made the connection here. Once you have made the connection here, you save it, and now you can go to your uh, go to your VS Code. In the VS Code inside the DAG, you know how to create the DAG. Inside DAG, you can create one uh, uh, file called uh, Postgre Demo dot py. Anything, any name you can give it, give it here. I already created for you so so that we can save the time. So here you need to import the Postgre operator. Okay, you can import the Postgre operator from Airflow provider. Postgre operator dot Postgre. You can import the Postgre operator, and this is the default DAG default uh, argument that we are passing here. So owner is my name Sumit Kumar, and uh, I'm I will do retry for five times. Um, if my DAG will fail, it will retry. It will retry every one minute. And uh, it will tap for five times, then it will fail. Okay, so I'm given. I have given here DAG name. Okay, DAG name I have given here, and uh, I started start start date is 20, 20 Jan 2024. This is a scheduled interval. You can get it whatever the schedule, uh, what time you want to run your DAG, it will run automatically at that time. Okay, so I I'm running it here here at 12 p.m. every day. Okay, so so this all information. If you want to know how to write this, uh, uh, this is just a cron tab. So you can go to the guru dot cron tab dot com and you can build it using it. Now you need to define the task one. So what the task one is doing is we are importing here. We are we are using the Postgre operator, okay, and we are giving the task ID. And here this is the important things. Here you have to write the whatever the connection ID you have created. So I have given the connection ID name as connection ID name as we have given Postgres underscore local. Okay, Postgres underscore local. So you have to write here Postgres underscore local here. And now in the SQL you have to pass. So till here connection has been made successfully. And now in the SQL you have to write what you want to do. Okay, I want to create one table called orders. So let me see whether order table is here or not. Okay. Okay, so we will create one order table. We'll create one order table here inside Airflow uh, database and inside 
public schema okay we'll we'll create we'll create here we'll see and now and this is simple uh, create table statement here so this is important if not exists is important why because let's suppose that you are uh, run creating a table and table is already exist existed so it will your database will fail if you are not writing here if not exist command if the, if the table is not <coughs> your dag will fail if you are if you are not writing if not exist uh, command if not exist uh, keywords so this is important you can write create table if not exist order so if table is already exist it, it will not uh, create table and your dag will not fail so once your table will be created then what i want to do this is the first task first task will create the table first task is done now the second task <coughs> this uh, we will call again postgre operator and inside inside the postgre postgre operator we will write the task name as insert into table okay and again we are we have we have to connect to postgre uh, database and here we are just inserting data inside the order table okay so this is the two task and uh, i am calling task one by after sequence in sequential manner so once the task one is complete then task two will start okay so save it after saving it you have to wait for some time you can go to dag here okay and you can wait for some time or you search for your dag id what was the dag id you have given you have given the dag id as dag with postgre operator so we'll go to go we'll go here and we'll search with dag with postgre operator so it is there so if in your case if it is not coming you can wait for 5 minute okay because the docker is little sometimes slow and okay so once it will come you can just <coughs> see here this is disable state so you can just trigger it here it will enable so once you will enable it and go to the graph view okay see it is enabled now we will uh, okay not enabled just enable it refresh it so it started running it so we'll see whether our dag will uh, run successfully or not so this is running now create postgre table so in the backend it might be creating the table so this is create table is successfully successfully completed now insert table insert table is also done okay so this two is completed successfully now we will see we will go to the postgre and we'll see whether it is created or not we'll just refresh this one refresh and see here orders okay order is created so now let's check so i will uh, i will create one this is my old uh, old working sheet so don't uh, see this one i will just open new worksheet for you open new worksheet okay already or is there i will switch the tab the database we are using uh, this uh, database airflow docker local for practicing purpose i was doing here so airflow docker local okay now uh, what is the uh, table order okay this is order table that just now we created okay now you go and just check select star from order see now let's suppose that i want to insert some more, some more item here so what i will do i will just i will do i will change here 1 to 2 okay i'm doing here manually but uh, in your real time you will get the data from api or somewhere you will store data in tuple and then you will parameterize it and you can pass the that those data here but for learning purpose i'm just doing here manually changing so order id is 1 and uh, status i will change from pending to delivered okay so this is delivered save it after saving it you come here and check in the code okay it is updated or not take some time to update you see this updated now okay now we will rerun it again rerun we'll, we can see this in graph go to graph 
start it because this time let's suppose that you are running it and you have not mentioned create table statement you have not given here as uh, if not exist so if no, if not given here if not exist you just write written here create table table name what could have happened here it could have failed okay this could have failed because uh, our table is already existed and it will give error saying that uh, table is already available and it will fail so hmm, you can see you can see it got started here now okay, now it is running so this is create table statement is run successfully now it will start and insert also it completed okay now if you go to your uh, db viewer and if you do slash star from order so you can see there is two item so that's all for this video in this video we have learned how to create one dag that will interact with your database and we have selected the postgre database that is there that we have already used in to set up airflow so airflow use the postgre database to store the metadata this all the metadata so we have instead of going for other database we have just used the postgre database that is that we already have we have exposed the port we have connected using the docker we, we have connected using postgre and then we have made the connection here we have learned how to make the connection and then we created one normal dag in the dag we have created one table uh, first task is create table second task will insert data and we are running it here so, so thank you for watching my video thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section